The Adidas Takumi Satin is one of the most beloved short distance speed shoes of the past two years. Version 8 and version 9 saw them use the same exact midsole with a slight upper revision. The reason this has become such a cherished shoe in the running shoe community is because this light strike pro foam here paired with those glass fiber energy rods underneath in the midsole give this nice firm snappy fast ride that harkens back to the days of those pure and simple running flats. Now, Adidas pioneered a new category of these 5k racing shoes and now we've seen a whole new batch of them like the Nike Street Fly, Saucony Sinister, and Hoka Silo Road. For many runners, the Takumi Sen is still at the peak of the mountaintop when it comes to that short distance racing and speed category. So version 10 has a lot to live up to. So in this video, I'm gonna break down all of the changes that we're seeing in the Takumi Sen 10, including the midsole, design, outsole, and what we can expect in terms of ride experience from that shoe. All right guys, before we get into it today, if you haven't checked out the Running Shoe Matcher tool yet, go to runningshoematcher.com. This is a really cool tool I've built for you that matches you with the best shoe for you based on your goals and preferences. It could be the Takumi Sen. So you go in there, answer five questions about what type of shoe you're looking for, whether you want a daily trainer, a race day shoe, or a tempo shoe, whether you like your shoes soft or firm, and we will match you with the best shoe for you. So it's live right now and it's free. You can check it out at runningshoematcher.com and I'll put a link in the description below. All right, let's get into it. So the Adidas Takumi Sen is designed as a 5K and 10K racing shoe with a lower stack height than a traditional super shoe like a Nike Vaporfly or the Adidas Adios Pro 3. In version eight and nine, we saw a 33 millimeter stack in the heel here and a 27 millimeter stack in the forefoot for a six millimeter drop. In version 10, it looks like Adidas is going with a very similar setup here and are going with more of that evolutionary approach versus a revolution. Version eight and nine set the standard for what a good short distance racing shoe can be and it looks like Adidas isn't doing too much to mess with that formula. Now since Takumi Sen 8 was released we've seen a lot of competitive shoes enter this market segment including that Nike Street Fly, Hoka Silo Road, and Saucony Sinister. Now the Street Fly uses Nike's Piba midsole, that Zumex. The Hoka Silo Road again is using a Piba and the Saucony Sinister also uses a Piba which is Saucony's Power Run PB. Now the Takumi Sen in the past few iterations has used Adidas's Light Strike Pro Foam which is a firmer supercritical TPEE. It's not as soft as a Piva like the Zumax or Saucony Endorphin Pro 3, but it does provide a lot of energy return, particularly when paired with these glass fiber energy rods. So in the market for 5K racing shoes and short distance speed shoes, which is how a lot of runners use this category of shoes for their interval or track days versus for 5K and 10K races, the Takumi Sen has existed on the firmer side of the spectrum. Some of these shoes don't even have plates in them like the Saucony Sinister and the Hoka Silo Road and the Nike Street Fly has a midfoot shank here to provide some rigidity to the platform. And the other shoe with the plate in this category is the New Balance SC Pacer. That one isn't PIBA either. It's the super critical TPU EVA blend from the fuel cell foam that New Balance has in that last generation of shoes. Although New Balance is moving to a PIBA based fuel cell in the next gen. So heading down to the midsole of the Takumi Sen 10, Adidas is still going to be using that Light Strike Pro formulation but it looks like they're gonna be using the modernized version of it that we see in the Boston 12 here. So I did a durometer test. A durometer measures how firm or soft something is, and I compared the Light Strike Pro in the Boston 12 here to the one in the Takumi Sen 8, and I found that they softened it up a moderate amount in this Boston 12, and it looks like they're gonna be going with that same formulation in the Takumi Sen 10. So in terms of what kind of a ride experience we should expect from that 10 versus the 8 and the 9, it's likely going to be a little bit softer underfoot because of how they've changed that Light Strike Pro formulation. Although it isn't going to be a huge difference, I have noticed that it does feel a little bit more like an impact absorption kind of experience versus that firm bounce that we get in the Takumi Sen 8. Now it looks like they've kept a similar stack height here. As I mentioned in the eight, we have 33 in the heel, 27 in the forefoot, but a big difference in the midsole is if you look at the forefoot of the Takumi Sen 10, there is more of a rocker there up in the front. We see this across nearly every brand shoe in every category, in every corner of the running shoe market. Brands are throwing on rockers on absolutely everything these days. So it's no surprise to me that there's more of a rocker in the Takumi Sen 10 here. However, this was one of the only fast workout shoes that wasn't super rockered and that was one of the things that I liked about it, although it is a super foam with Adidas's carbon fiber rods here. It's not a no frill shoe, but it ran like a no frill shoe. It ran like this pure, simple, fun running experience that felt like how I imagined a traditional racing flat in the 1960s or 
1970s would feel. So in version 10, they're going away from that super flat forefoot and are arching the rocker just a little bit more, similar to what we're seeing in the Boston 12 here, where you see this forefoot curl up. So rockers help with turnover. They help a shoe feel a little bit faster. They get you up on your toes quicker. So if you're a heel striker or midfoot striker, that should help you with a lean forward and help you get that cadence up, particularly when you're running super fast, like 5K pace or faster. Last thing I want to mention about the midsole here is it looks like they did change the contouring of the foam just a little bit. It's not huge and it does still have the same spirit and ethos of the eight and nine, but they have changed where those cutouts are, where the lines and swoops are, and they've overall revised the design language, maybe 10%, 15%, so that doesn't look exactly like it did in the last two versions, but it is modernized just a little bit to get in line with the rest of those Adidas Audi Zero shoes. All right guys, heading up to the upper. Now I have to say, I am a little bit disappointed at the upper that we're seeing here on the Takumi Sen 10. They're going with the same type of upper setup that we see on the Takumi Sen 8 and the Boston 12 as well. It's this scratchy, uncomfortable, lightweight material, very breathable, but scratchy and uncomfortable. It's almost like a hardened cheesecloth. If you want a little bit of negative ASMR here, you can hear that, that's how it feels on your foot. It's not the most comfortable when you crank down the laces and particularly in the Takumi Sen 8 and 9, these uppers were very snug. So I would expect the same thing in the Takumi Sen 10 here. And from these pictures, it looks like they're still going with that snugger rocket-like fit. Now it's a little bit hard to tell here, but the forefoot volume does potentially look like it's a little bit expanded just at the front of the platform. It is possible that they added a little bit more height up there in the forefoot, but I wouldn't expect any major changes when it comes to the shoe because it is one of Adidas's fastest shoes designed to have that race-like really tight feel. Again, same thing with the laces. They've gone with the same skinny laces that aren't the most comfortable when you crank them down. If you look at the Takumi Sun 8 here, you can see that these laces are pretty small and with this super thin tongue, same thing that we're gonna be getting on the Takumi Sen 10 here, there is a fair bit of lace bite when you try to crank them down, which you need to do to get a good lockdown in these shoes. That is really the fatal flaw of these Audi Zero shoes from the Boston to the Takumi Sen to any of the others. Their uppers are not comfortable and the lockdowns can be a bit sloppy depending on your foot. That's an issue that I've really had with the Boston 12 here. I need to tie this two or three times to get the right lockdown and it doesn't look like they've addressed that issue at all in the Takumi Sen 10 here. So we should expect to have some of those similar fit issues with this shoe. And then a funny thing, they do have this little pop collar heel tab in the back of the Takumi Sen here. You see when you're putting on the shoe, you can flip it up. It helps you uh, grip the back rear of the shoe to slip it on. All right guys, heading down to the outsole of the shoe. Now, if we look at the outsole of the Takumi Sen 8 here, compared to the outsole of the 10, you can see they have revised the layout of the rubber just a little bit. It's not enough to make any significant difference in the wear pattern of the shoe, but it's just them pulling it forward into the modern generation of shoes. So you can see they are still going with that continental rubber up on the forefoot here. It's really great for grip and it's very durable up in the forefoot. Key issue is the back of the shoe. You can see this one, I only have about 100 miles on it and I have worn through the rubber in the back here. And in the new Takumi Sen, they are going with an exposed foam situation out on the back of that shoe. It's the same thing that we see in the Boston 12 here where they bisect the rubber and they leave the middle open. In general, durability is not going to be great, but hopefully you aren't putting 50 miles on this shoe a week. This is a shoe that I only reach for for my fastest workouts and maybe a 5K race or 10K race here and there. I usually actually race in my Vapor Flies or Saucony Endorphin Pro 3s. But if you baby the shoe just a little bit, only pulling it out for fast interval workouts, putting you know, 10, five, 10 miles on it each week, you should be able to get a year or more of use out of this shoe. It's definitely not going to be a high mileage training shoe where you wanna get 400 or 500 miles out of the shoe. On that note, in terms of who the shoe is going to be best for, the Takumi Sen series is really going to be a fast, short distance, speed or racing shoe. This is not a daily trainer. I know some folks out there love it so much they wanna run in it every day, which you absolutely can do, but you're not gonna get a lot of durability on it. And also I don't suggest doing that just because the geometry of the shoe with the plate, with that stack of foam, isn't going to allow for the same development of your muscles as a more traditional daily trainer. And it's also not gonna provide as much cushioning and protection if you're running a lot of miles as something like the Nike Vomero or Saucony Triumph or New Balance 1080 V13 would. So definitely not a shoe that you should be running all your miles in. I would suggest a max cushion shoe for that to help ease the burden on your legs, but a great shoe for any fast work or shorter races. So overall, looks 
like this shoe is going to be keeping 90% of what worked in the last generation of shoes and just making minor updates to the upper midsole and outsole to bring it into the current generation Audi Zero lineup. So if you like the Takumi Sen 8 or 9, you will love the Takumi Sen 10. This is a shoe that works for a lot of people. The only people it's not really going to work for is if you need a lot of stability support because this is a very narrow shoe very narrow platform out in the heel and through the midfoot. So if you have a wider foot or need stability, it's not gonna work for you. However, if you have a narrow to standard foot and you want something fast for your fastest interval training days or short races, then the Takumi Sen 10 is going to be a great choice for you. So all right guys, there you have it. There is the preview of the Adidas Audi Zero Takumi Sen 10. Let me know if you're planning on picking this up. Also, let me know what you think of this shoe and this colorway that we have leaked here. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking and subscribing. And I'll be back tomorrow with another video.